Downsized by Mike Dumbleton and Tom Gillett. Downsized by Mike Dumbleton and Tom Gillett. When Dad came home from work, he seemed somehow smaller. His usual chair seemed bigger than before. He talked with Mum and I tried to listen, but they spoke in whispers. Your father's been downsized, Mum explained. I put my arms around Dad and said, It's not good to lose weight too quickly. I liked you as you were. That's not what it means, Mum explained gently. It means that Dad has lost his job. I know Mum was right, but I was partly right as well, because lots of things became smaller. We changed our big car for a small car that we could push when it broke down. We moved into a small run-down house with fewer rooms and... messy garden. We had to give our Labradors away because there wasn't enough money to feed them. Mum and Dad started to argue. Your temper's very short these days, Mum would say. Then it was time for me to slip away and hide in the garden. It wasn't long before Dad began to look like the garden. His hair stood up like wild grass. His beard was a tangle of weeds. His shirt tail trailed over his trousers and his laces lay like creepers across his shoes. Mum put Dad's chair outside the back door and he sat in the shade in silence. I don't think Dad even tried to see where I was or what I was doing, so I kept on working out of view. It was only when I called for help that Dad slowly came to find me. He helped me lift a tree stump onto its base. It was too heavy for me, I groaned. Then I used a small baking dish to make a bird bath. Dad stared at the stepping stone pathway, the neat pebble borders and the brown raked soil. It's going to be like this, I told him, pointing to the picture in the Grand Gardens magazine. It'll be just the same except for the tennis court, the swimming pool and the lions on the pillars. I showed him the gardening guides from the library and told him all my plans. It'll take ages. I sighed, taking hold of his hand. It'll be quicker if I help you, whispered Dad. The next day there was no stopping him. He even wanted to plant vegetables. There are no vegetables in a grand garden, I scoffed. They're behind the pillars, Dad explained. The lions are there to look after them. Dad put china cats on boxes instead of lions on pillars. He made a pond instead of a swimming pool. I watched him work and saw him change like the garden. He combed his hair and trimmed his beard. Dad's shirt tail was still trailed over his trousers, but his laces were always tied and his smile started to bloom.
Now for the final touch, Dad declared. From behind his back, he brought out... Two bats and a pole with a ball on a string. The string may be too long, he said. We might hit the bird bath. It was then that I picked up the bird bath and lifted it right out of the way. Not too heavy this time, I hope, said Dad, with one of his long, suspicious looks. I wasn't sure what to say, so I grinned. Then I hugged him and said, Whoops!